peace be with you. So I wanted to make this video about why I did not get the COVID vaccine. So I am a healthcare provider. I'm an emergency room doctor and I did not get vaccinated. And I just wanted to make a video about why, because I feel that my decisions are based on science, whereas the decisions of those who are trying to force me are based on just assumptions and, and poor, poor judgment. So this is my second bout with COVID. I have COVID right now. I'm on day five away. That's why I'm out here hiking. That's why the beautiful background. Um, and I'm asymptomatic. So this time around, I got sick five days ago. Um, I had a sore throat, which was pretty bad. I had a mild stuffy nose. I had a mild headache. I had a nighttime cough for one night. I, I couldn't sleep and I had some mild body aches, but that was it. Today I feel perfectly normal. I'm hiking up hills. I'm, I'm feeling fine. The first time I had it was in April of 2019. Uh, and that time I had body, pretty bad body aches. My hair hurt. Uh, and I had a dry cough and a fever for one day. So the reason why I didn't uh, get the vaccine after the first time is because I had mild symptoms and I knew more about risk factors of COVID. Okay, I knew that old age, obesity and things like that make it much more likely that you're going to die from COVID. So if there was a vaccine before I got COVID the first time, while they were still, we didn't know the risk factors, we didn't know how bad it was, I would have probably gotten the vaccine. After the first time and after working in the ER around it for a long period of time, I decided I don't need it. I'm not going to get it. Uh, and this is why. So thank God the second time around, the symptoms were very short, very mild. Uh, and I did not uh, perceive my risk of COVID to be great enough in order to vaccinate myself uh, because I had it mild the first time. So vaccines work for decreasing mortality. And if I was overweight, older, I would probably get the vaccines. But at this point, I just still don't feel like I need to. And uh, thankfully, thank God, you know, I've been right so far. Of course, outliers will always be present. Uh, in any case, the as far as transmission is concerned, we see that in all the highly uh, vaccinated regions of the world, or, or here domestically, we see there are huge COVID spikes. And because some of those regions are more than 90% vaccinated, we know for a fact it's not the unvaccinated people that are transmitting this and infecting everybody because those huge spikes in some places they are bigger than there ever were are all vaccinated people, except they're not very sick, which is essentially the end of pandemic. In any case, CDC has changed their recommendations in regard to healthcare workers to where under certain conditions, you can just come to work with COVID, right? But there are still policies in place where people who don't have COVID and just haven't been vaccinated are too dangerous, are deemed too dangerous to work uh, in a healthcare setting where a rule exists that you can actually come to work with COVID under certain circumstances. So I just think that is just ridiculous. It is insane. Our risk uh, evaluation is unique for each and every one of us. A you know a person with a 60 BMI is not the same as an athlete in regards to risk from COVID. Uh, a 75 year old is not the same as an 18 year old in regard to risk of COVID. Some of those people should get vaccine without a question, but a public policy that makes everyone have to get a vaccine to where is where a large population of those people will not benefit from it at all meaning it will not reduce their already infinitesimally small risk of covid like for example me i had a low risk of covid and uh it won't change anything in this regard to transmission as we can see by current explosion of the fourth wave of a pandemic so forcing people to take something that will not benefit them that will not benefit the society around them and may potentially hurt them because he, as, as infrequent the complications as they may be, they still exist. That is unethical. That is malpractice. That is literally medical malpractice. And that's why I oppose any sort of mandate. And that is why I didn't get vaccinated. I didn't get vaccinated because I think it's going to give me a 5G chip that makes Bill Gates spy on me. That's crazy. I didn't get vaccinated because my risk of the virus and the benefit from uh, as regard in regards to transmission of it is just the, did not compute that I should get the vaccine. That's all it is. And everybody should make that individual decision. Now, some people are going to make a big mistake and not get vaccinated and probably die from this. But the best I think um, doctors should be doing is trying to educate people, not trying to force people. So that's it.